fast money drug dealing and only fans exactly the same thing it's just one can get yourself into trouble and the other one will tarnish you for the rest of your life in it so boom so some people might see like these people making fast money these drug dealers making fast money or these girls on only fans making mad amounts of fast money in it yeah them man them, them gal they outshine them drug dealers in it um and some people will be like fuck man like I'm here busting my ass and I have to study and that and I'm only earning 40 grand a year. And there's certain girls, they're making 20 a month. <laughs> so what I earned in a year, they're making half of that in a month. And similarly with the drug dealers and that. Um, you're out there, you're earning 40 grand a year, you're 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 you're, you're taking home 2,300 a month. Drug dealers. Well, even when I went to country and I was shooting for a man, a man was making a grand a day off of this line, off of one line, yeah, off of one mobile number, yeah. A man's making a grand a day off of that one line, yeah. That's in country, that's in Norwich, yeah. But nowadays, and obviously there's man that was making more than that back in the day anyway, but there was there's man in the ends now that will make two grand off of their drug line in the ends where there's lots of competition and that. remember man go out to norwich and go out to the countryside to make money because there's not much competition yeah they're the only trappers in that area whereas the ends if everyone's trapping in the ends even drug deal even drug users are trapping in the ends isn't it? so boom so you you'll be earning 40 grand a year taking on 2300 2500 a month and a drug dealer will make that in two days, maybe a day. Maybe your monthly wages is half a day's money for him. There's man that made five grand a day. Yeah. There's man that made that in it. Yeah. Anyway, you think he's a oh, fuck, man. Like, a man has all this free time and he's making money, spending, spending, spending. And, and I'm here busting my ass and get me in it. This just don't seem worth it anymore, blood. Don't worry about them, man. They ain't, yeah? Because what comes fast goes fast. Then, yeah? Most men that make them fast money and that they spend, they spend, they spend. And then they put themselves in a position where they are accustomed to certain amounts of money. So if they go to jail and they come out after a certain amount of time, they come to a crossroad, isn't it? It's either they're going to jump back onto what they're doing and then keep looking over their shoulder and that ducking from the police. Because you have to remember, when you're a drug dealer, you know, the danger isn't just the police obviously getting nicked. You might get robbed by other drug dealers. You might get killed by a fucking crackhead. I've spoken about this before, and it one you in Enfield got pitched by a crackhead, and the crackhead hid his body in the loft for about six months. The only reason why he got caught is because he bragged about it to one of his friends. So yeah, you might be earning 40 grand a year taking on 2,300 or whatever, and you think, like, fuck, man, these men are making bare money. These men are even putting in hard work. These men didn't even have to study for the thing. But you know what? When, when you earn fast money and that, it goes quickly. So they'll go to jail, come out, come to a crossroads, and then, boy, it's either they go back to the same, get me, looking behind their shoulder and that. Or, because remember, men that sell drugs and that, most of them men there, 99.9% of them, have not got a skill or a trade. So when they go to get a job, they're going to get some mediocre, idiot job, like a postman or driving a lorry and that. Yeah? So they're going to be earning some idiot money. They're going to be on a grand a month take home. They'll think to themselves that, blood, I'm earning a grand a month. I have to give an employer, a boss, 22 days out of my life per month just for a grand take home. I'm being told what to do. I'm being told when to come to work, when to take a break. I'm chatting to a man, a man who's a dickhead on road is giving me orders. And I used to be this man, that man in that ends. So a man just end up relapsing. Imagine, imagine, imagine earning a grand, two grand a day, being your own boss, working to your own schedule doing what you want. Imagine earning a grand a day to then have to go back to earn a grand a month 
where you're expected to turn up to work for certain times and that and manner on your tail and rare, rare, rare. You're going to end up relapsing because you're accustomed to a certain lifestyle. I'll give you another example. Gyal. If you've locked up and you got one nice girl and you know you ain't that good looking, you know you don't make that much money, you know your charisma ain't that on point, and you know the types of guys that she used to deal with before you used to be money men, whether it was legal or illegal, used to be them swagger dons, used to be their man there, their charisma's on point, they just get me swags on point, personality wise and drip wise, isn't it? And you're nothing compared to any of that. Your stats don't match up in no way. Please believe that girl's gonna relapse, isn't it? She's gonna get bored of you, yeah? And she's gonna go and wanna find that again, trust me, yeah? It's a matter of time, innit? Might be 12 months, might be 12 years, but it probably will happen, innit? Yeah? If not, if she's not just cheating on you on the side anyway, innit? Yeah? People relapse, innit? Once people have a certain standard, people don't like to go back down, innit? Yeah. So boom. So that's the drug dealers and that in it, yeah. The OnlyFans chicks as well. Trust me, fam. You look at these OnlyFans chicks. Some of the girls, like regular girls that don't do OnlyFans, they must be looking at these girls like blood. How these not earning fucking twenty grand a month, showing pictures of their feet, cleavage, and G string and and that. They must think like, blood, I, I want to jump on this, innit? Well, first of all, yeah, most of these girls that jump on OnlyFans are not going to be making that kind of money anyway. But let's say they didn't, well, you mark yourself out for the rest of your life. Some of these girls are doing some mad explicit shit that, like, if their son's ever caught with her that or, like, whatever, innit? It would be embarrassing. They mark themselves out for the rest of their lives, innit? Yeah? What comes fast goes fast. These girls will be making some mad money, 10 grand a month showing their feet, showing their art, showing their cleavage and that. But what's going to happen is they're going to spend, 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 spend. There's chicks out here that made millions off of this OnlyFans thing, you know. And this is what's happened here, that certain girls think they're smart as well, and they do the right thing. So maybe they ain't earn millions, yeah, but they've earned hundreds of thousands per year, innit? So what they've done is they bought properties, yeah, with this OnlyFans money, innit? Yeah. So they could tell the story, oh yeah, I've made hundreds of thousands. I've done little dumb spending, but I've bought properties in it. Yeah. So I live in a penthouse and I've got three properties around wherever in it, local in it. Boom. But what's gonna happen is nothing lasts forever, in it. And unless you make wise investments and you make sacrifice and you're smart, yeah. You're not going to be able to maintain that money or whatever. Isn't it? So what's going to happen is these girls are not just going to be smart like man them. See, man them, the difference between men and women is a man can make mad money and invest it in free properties and still look like he earns 30 grand a year. But a girl will earn hundreds of thousands, buy free properties and that, but they still need to look like they earn hundreds of thousands. Isn't it? So this is what's going to happen to these girls that do actually buy properties with their OnlyFans money. They're, they're sitting on free properties, isn't it? Boom. They're going to want to still upkeep this particular lifestyle, isn't it, that they're living in it, i.e. clothes, cars, and penthouse and that. Isn't it? So boom, the money is going to eventually slow down because inevitably everything slows down, isn't it? So what's going to happen is they still want to upkeep this lifestyle, isn't it? You know, this car, this clothes, this holiday, this club, whatever, it, popping bottles, looking a certain way, snapping, Instagram, taking pictures. And that. So the money's going to slow down. And what they're going to do is they're going to think, boy, I'm not making that much money off of the rental income of these properties, isn't it? So you know what, yeah? I can do away with that one property. And I'll just sell that one property, in it? Boom. Come into a few thousand, hundred, a thousand, whatever, in it? Boom. That money will go, will not it? They'll sell the next property, boom. They're down to their penthouse on one other property now, isn't it? Boom. They'll sell that last property and be down to their penthouse. Isn't it? Then think to themselves, oh, I do, do I really need this penthouse in this nice area, innit? I'll sell this penthouse and buy a cheaper house, innit? And what they'll do is they'll, they'll be on a the de decline. They'll keep selling, keep downgrading their lifestyle so that 
well, downgrading their assets so that they can maintain this lifestyle. And bam, they're back to square one. Broke. Because remember, the only fans they ain't going to last for every minute. So if there's girls that are watching these girls, I think, oh, man, these lot got this thing pattern, man. And they're going to be set for life. No. What goes, what comes fast, goes fast. Do you know why? Because in that time, like I said, they're talking about the black people and reparations. They have not done the work to become money smart. They haven't got rid of the bad spending habits. So, yeah, they're earning hundreds of thousands of pounds a month. Someone's won the lottery. They haven't dealt with the bad spending habits. So ultimately, they're going to become broke. There's millionaire basketball players who have become broke because they've got some mad wages coming in, but they haven't dealt with the bad spending habits. So therefore, ultimately, they don't have any self-control. So therefore, they go broke. You could give me a credit card and tell me there's a million pounds on it. I am disciplined enough to not spend that money like a jackass. But give it to someone else who hasn't developed, hasn't done the work to become sacrificed, uh, to, to sacrifice and uh, be sensible with money. Like me, I've grown up being sensible with money. They're going to spend that money. They're going to blow it. Might take them five years, but they're going to blow that money. So, yeah, the fast money thing from the OnlyFans and... Um, the drug dealing thing, don't worry about it. Trust me, it will come to an end one day. It will come to an end one day. You think any of them girls could get a respectable job like being a lawyer? No way. No way. You think, they'll, they'll think, you think that they a law firm will want to employ them knowing that there's naked pictures of them on, online? Get out of here. Get out of here. And you know what? Yeah, They think they're doing themselves justice, you know by earning money. See, this is what you have to, to realise as well. Yeah? The richer a woman becomes, the less amount of men they are willing to date. So, say for example, car, women don't want to date a man that's earning less than them. A woman who's earning 120 grand a year don't want to date a man who's earning 30 grand a year. No, no, no. Some women will, if they get desperate enough. But a woman wants to earn less than a man, innit? She don't want to be um, earning... Um, more than substantially uh, an, an amount that's substantially more than a man so the more money a woman earns the less and less and less amount of men that's going to be available for her isn't it? yeah so then they're going to start to struggle more yeah some men some men just generally feel inferior if a woman earns more than them anyway so they're excluding and they're cutting out a lot of men the more money they earn as well and as you know there's a lot of men, there's a lot of, it's a scarce resource for like decent, hardworking men and that. And they will just autom automatically X them out straight away just because that woman is earning more than them. So if a woman's earning 150 grand a year, a woman's not, might not want to date a man that's earning 60, which is a decent wage if you're an employee. She's not going to want to date him because she's earning so much. So, and how much men actually earn over 100 grand a year? not that much uh, so there's less and less men to pick from